What's going on YouTube? We are back again with another video of me talking about shit I could barely afford. Today I'm breaking out the fan favorite, the Knight's Armament M110. But before we get into it, let's roll that intro. Roll it. What's going on YouTube? We are back again with another video of shit I cannot afford. Today we got our Knight's Armament M110 SAS, semi-automatic sniper system. Uh, this is the rifle, sniper rifle used by the United States Army, uh, well military, excuse me, since uh, it was fielded in 2007, it's still ongoing. Um, this is definitely a fan favorite. Everybody loves this rifle every time I bring it out to the range. <laughs> Everybody has just a big old heart on over it. And rightfully, rightfully so. It's a sick rifle. Uh, definitely was my, is my go-to rifle for a very, very long time. But, um, yeah, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. I do, uh, I do have fun shooting this. And, uh, but just a disclaimer, you know, everybody likes the M110. It's a great rifle. It's, it, it is. It's great. Uh, until they see the cost. This rifle right here, I have about uh, 15,000 into it. That's with the scope, that's with the suppressor, and uh, everything else. Uh, it's, it's extremely expensive. Anything Knight's Armament is uh, very expensive. So, just a disclaimer. And if you're trying to do a clone or anything like that, you have to use Knight's parts. Don't try skimping out and going AR-10 parts or anything like that. You gotta use SR-25 parts and you have to use Knight's Armament parts. Don't even try it, I'm telling you. Don't even try it. I've seen people do it. I've seen people try doing it a million times and they all just come frustrated and poor. But funny thing about this rifle, this was probably one of my first real big rifles I ever bought. Uh, I was going to school. Um, I was getting my college degree, which I was just like, eh, I finished. But I was like, this just isn't really for me. So one day I used my college tuition money to uh, buy this rifle. <laughs> so if my parents ever see this video, they're going to kill me. But uh, I used my, literally my college tuition money to uh, purchase this M110. That's, that's how expensive uh, this rifle is. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, you know. Got the can on it, which this is another very cool uh, feature to the M110 that everybody really likes. Let's just go. Easy as one, two, three. She's ready to rock and roll. You don't see any bullet shift. Nothing like that. It's a, uh, it's a very, very good system and Knights did a very, very, um, had a, did a great job on that quick, quick release, uh, suppressor system, but it's very top heavy. The first time I ever put this, uh, suppressor on, I lifted it up and it was like, Ugh! Ugh! and it's, it's, it's very heavy. It's very heavy. Um, it's very long <laughs> and it's dark. So, uh, yeah, just a for to forewarn anybody that wants to get this suppressor. It's extremely long. It's extremely heavy, but it's very quiet. It does a great job um, suppressing the 308 uh, bullet. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty great rifle. But um, that being said, that being said, guys, don't go out and spend fifteen thousand dollars on this rifle. Do not do it. Do not do it. It's a great rifle, don't get me wrong, but it's an extremely old design. It's 2021. You can find there's a lot better rifles out there that will swoop this thing. Perfect example is my SCAR 20. I'm just going to say it. I like the SCAR 20 better than the, than the M110, and I think it's a far superior rifle, but we're going to make another video on that, and I'll show you why. I'll show you why. I have time behind both rifles, and I would take a SCAR-20 over the M110. But enough talk. I've been babbling for the last couple minutes. Let's go see what this thing's made of. Come on, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. All right, so my rangefinder says 300. 
No way is that 300. We might have an issue, boys. Two seventy-three. That's about right. I'd say about two fifty, but whatever. What am I? What do I know? All right, so let's go see two hundred and fifty yards. Uh, what the M1 does at two fifty. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hit it a couple times. I ain't shooting very well today. Hey, you got your good days, you got your bad days. Don't make fun of me. Just kidding. Make fun of me in the comments, whatever. I don't really care. All right. Let's. All right, I got us laced in at 350. So let's go see what uh, see what the M110 M110 does at 350. You know, as you can as you can hear it, man, it's just smacking it one after another after another after another. You know, this thing is extremely accurate, extremely accurate, very well made, very very tough, durable rifle. But you know, out to 350 yards, you know, just dead on one after another after another. But let's go see what else we could do with her. Club. We're gonna reach out to about 500 and see. Uh, no, I take that back. That's about 400. I'm gonna shoot out to about 400 and uh, see what this thing can do. It's pretty, pretty sweet. All right, let's go check it out. Good stuff. Smacking about 400, no problem with this thing. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm using the 168 grain boat tail hollow points, which man, this thing just eats it alive. It loves the 168 grains. It also likes the 175s, but I mostly use the uh, 168 grains. That seems what it's. That's probably the best uh, best luck I've had with this rifle is the 168. So. Smacking about 400, no problem. But this thing, uh, this thing's pretty, pretty sick, huh?
God damn it. Thanks again, guys, for watching. That's all we got for today, shooting the Knight's Armament M110. Uh, just brief video, uh, video of uh, shooting out to about 400 yards. Uh, if you guys like the video, throw down in the comments, hey, Andy, reach out to 1,000 with it if you can do it, which I can, I will. If you guys want to see that, uh, leave a comment, leave a like. Please give me a subscribe. I don't really want to work anymore, so I'm just going to go be a full-time shitty YouTuber. But uh, one more note, like always, thank God for the Second Amendment, and thank God for the Constitution, and God bless America that we are allowed to use and buy uh, a suppressed semi-automatic sniper rifle. And uh, don't let them take our fucking rights ever. And uh, yeah. That's all I got to say, and I'll see you guys out there. Rock on. Later.